Hey guys, it's um, Jim from jagfx.com. Uh, this video is just going to be a quick video on a, how to load custom indicators, templates, scripts onto the MT4 platform. I've done a video like this just recently, or not that long ago. Uh, this is just a revised edition, I've just added a couple of things to it. Uh, the reason being is I am releasing another book in the next few days. This is it. Trading Forex with Divergence on MT4. But you didn't see that one coming with all the talk of divergence I've been having in the on my trades. So anyone that's on my mailing list from previous books or anyone's in the Facebook group will have an opportunity. Uh, it'll be on a free promotion for about 24 hours roughly, give or take. And um, I'll give you plenty of um, time, plenty of notice to let you know when that's happening. So you won't have to pay anything for it, but you get it at the right time. So, moving right along. Um, talk about Facebook group, here's the URL. It's case sensitive, so if you want to join the Facebook group and just check out a few trades and that, just go to this website here. Case sensitive. All right, um, here I've got a forex.com um, demo platform. I'm just using this to, for demonstration purposes. So in any packages you get from me, download packages with any of the books, um, Generally, there'll be a uh, custom indicators, also a template, and um, and yeah, that's about it. So we'll have a look how to load them on. So I'll just go to my desktop, and here I've got a folder that I've got on my desktop with the, the indicators that are in the latest book. So I'll just show you using them. Uh, I've got the template here, which has got the surface TPL and the indicators are EX4, 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 right? So that's just this, that's just the basic um, indicator and the TPLs for template. So just go back to the platform. Now all you do in MT4, just open up your MT4 platform. Um, go up to file, top left, left click on that and you'll see the selection here, open data folder. Just um, Click on that, and um, what you'll see here is a, a, another list of folders. Now, the one we'll worry about first is the template. So we'll get the template, it's on the first page, so we just double click on that, open up the templates folder, and you'll see some templates already in there. So what I'll do is I'll just move that. You can uh, minimize your um, platform if you wish when you're doing this. Now, I'll go to my folder here, and we're looking for the template, which is a TPL, so copy that and just paste it straight into there. And there it is, MACD Platinum. MACD Platinum book template. So we'll go back there. Now, to get to the, where we've got to put the indicators, you have to go into the MQL4 uh, folder. So we'll just double click on that, and it'll give you more folders. Now what we're looking for here is indicators, which is obvious. So just double click on that, open it up, and it'll give you a big list of indicators. There's all the indicators I've loaded on this platform so far. So, get rid of that. So I just need to go to my desktop. And just copy these four um, custom indicators. Paste them in here. So they're all in there. So I can just shut both of these folders, no problems at all. Go back to my um, platform. Now they're loaded in here but I have to refresh. Back in the old days you had to actually reboot your MT4 platform, these days you don't have to. So just go up to your navigator window, open up your um, list of uh, indicators etc. Now all you do is pick any indicator on your list, any, doesn't matter which one, just right click on it once and you'll see down here you'll have a refresh button, just press that and it's gone to work. So hopefully those indicators will now be in the folder. There they are, QMP, QQE Advanced, MACD Platinum, so all good. And so they're all there. So I'm gonna show you a few things. Um, the first thing, the, probably the easiest way to do it is just go to blank chart, blank chart anywhere on the chart, just right click once, it'll bring up this selection box, go to template, 
look for my template, which is MACD Platinum Book. Just left click on it once, and there you go. Loads up the charts with my setup. Perfect. So that's the easiest way to do it. So now the template's made up of the Q, uh, QMP filter, which is these red and blue dots on price, which is one of the custom indicators, and also the MACD Platinum is here and that's a custom indicator. The other three are the moving averages, the 50, the 100 EMAs and the 240 LMA. Now, to modify any indicator, for example, if you didn't use a template and you just put the MACD Platinum on the chart, um, you may not have the, these dots showing on the chart, so the easiest way to do that, any indicator is just sort of run your cursor over the indicator, right click, and you can see it'll, you've got your properties box selection. Just double click on that and it'll give you your properties. Now, if you want to get rid of those markers or they weren't there, those dots, see the show markers, true or false? That's where you, so it gets rid of them. So when you load that on, just as a separate indicator without the template, you won't have those dots. So you just go in there, show markers, true or false, true, bang, there it is. Now, the QQE Advance is not displayed on the chart. It doesn't have to be. It's in your indicator list though. It has to be loaded onto your platform for the QMP filter to work. I'll just show you how to modify um, moving averages if you don't know. I'll, I'll actually put another one on the chart just to show you. Just go to your um, indicator list on the left-hand side here and moving averages under um, trend just drag it on the chart or double click, doesn't matter, there's different ways of doing it. Uh, we'll change this to a 25, we'll make it a simple. It's just a matter of finding your way around these um, little boxes. And we'll make it yellow. And there it is on the chart. <laughs> that noise you can hear is one of our street vendors here in Vietnam riding around these push bike selling cobs of corn or something. So del delete it, just right click on it, delete, so it's off. Now, um, that's pretty straightforward. So we'll look at drawing um, trend lines. Trend lines uh, can be a little bit tricky. There's a couple of ways of doing it. I'll just show you the way I do it. Um, up across the top here, we've got our drawing tools. And this one here, this angled, when you run your cursor over, you see it says draw trend line. So say I want to draw a trend line from this red dot to this red dot. Let's just do that. So now this is what I don't like. See how it's super extended? I don't like that at all. So just run your cursor over all right, and just give it a double click and you'll see these dots come on up. As soon as you see these little dots come up on the trend line, you can just right click and change trend line properties. Now you go into the properties and parameters, you'll see this ray. Just click that and it gets rid of that um, extension. Now I just want to change this up a bit so we'll make it a thicker. You can change the thickness, the colour, anything you want. So I've changed it now. See it's the ray part shortened. Now all I do is I just grab a hold of the end of it and drag it across there. Or it might, if you bring it near a candle, it'll sometimes just, oh this one's not doing it, sometimes it'll click to the candle, tip of the candle, the top of the candle. Yeah, automatically. Or you can, if you want to move it um, like like that, you can move it just by using the middle dot. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you drew like um, several trend lines on your chart, for example, just so nothing trend line I know, and all the dots were showing up, then instead of deleting them individually, you can just right click on the one of them and delete all selected. Anyone that's got their dots showing will be selected. Uh, delete it. So they're both gone. Uh, horizontal line, same deal. Next to the trend line, there's a tool up here. Just grab that and you can move it up and down your chart until you find a position. So you wanted to across these tops here, for example. Uh, again, to modify it, you just double click on it. Then you right click. You've got to bring those um, little sort of dots up on the ends. You can right click and you can um, play around with it, change it change the colour and when the dots are there you can move it up and down but when the dots aren't there you can't move it so you need the dots at either end 
and the same applies for vertical lines on your chart. Uh, you can change them all. They're pretty straightforward, you just play with it on demo. And you can see the dots there so you can move it. And if I want to get rid of it, I can get rid of both. Delete, all selected, delete, so they're gone. So that's pretty straightforward. That's um, how to load the custom indicators. Uh, also the template. Uh, what else we got? Done the drawing trend lines, vertical lines. Uh, right -o. we showed you how to set up the MAs. Right, we'll just touch on the, um, this is a one hour chart I've got here. Um, Great British Pound, USD. Now, in the book I talk about, uh, geez, talk about the Perry Converter. Uh, it's down in the scripts down here. I'll just move this out the way. You'll see Perry Converter in the scripts folder under scripts. Now, all script is is a, a once one-off action on your chart. Now, if if you put this on your chart, it's pretty basic. You can just drag it onto the chart you want to use. So here, inputs, and it's got the number three. So we're on a one-hour chart. If I set that up with number three. That will multiply my one hour chart by three, so it'll give me a three hour chart. So I just press OK. Now, there's no there's no real way of knowing this is on the chart, but it's there, trust me. The only way to know it's there is you right click on the chart somewhere and you'll should have a on your list here a new item remove script. So if you want to remove it, you just click on that. But anyway, we've got it on the chart, so to find that actual three hour chart. You have to go to offline, so just file, open offline, just click on that. So in our list we're looking for the Great British Pound USD 3 hour. And there it is. So you open that up, you can add your um, template to it. Again, right click on the chart, bring up your template list. And make the platinum book. And there's the... US, uh, sorry, Great British Pound, US dollar, three hour chart. Now the problem with that script, it's just a um, basic script. If I change profiles or um, reboot my MT4 platform, I actually lose the use of that script. So I have to start from scratch and set it all up again. So it's a bit, it's not very user friendly. And it's a bit um, bit average really. So, so we'll just get rid of that, remove script. That's gone. So that's in the download package. I supplied you with a, another custom indicator. This one's free. Bit of a crappy name for it. P4L period con 509. No idea where they got that from other than period converter part. So like any uh, indicator, just drag it on your chart. Look at the inputs. There's lots of inputs here and in the um, download um, email that you get with the indicators etc there's a link to a website that you can go to if you just want to read up on this um, indicators it, it has a few more bells and whistles than just a period multiplier it's basically the same as the period converter script except it's um, it's runs a lot better so here you can see the blue highlighted part period multiplier again if I want the three hour chart just, just press put three in there click OK Gives you a little, um, tells you instructions where to open it offline. Just press OK. Now I know that's on the chart. Again, just file, open offline. Um, look for the Great British Pound US dollar. Three hour chart, there it is there. So let's double click on it. Right click on the chart anywhere, add my template. And this will be a much better way if you want to trade off a, a non-default time zone from the MT4 platform. You know, really cool if you like um, trading, say, for example, six hours, because there's four six-hour candles in a 24-hour period, so it's not a bad one. Eight hours, again, three candles in a 24-hour period. 12 hours, you know, there's plenty of, plenty of options. So here, you don't have to reboot this um, chart uh, if you change profiles or reboot your um, platform but you just have to keep an eye whenever you're using the offline charts make sure they don't seize up just give them a refresh you can just um, you just right click anywhere on the chart and on your list here you've got a refresh 
selection, just press that and it'll just refresh your chart if they, if they look like they're stopped or stalling. But this um, actual indicator is pretty good. So there you have it folks, that's about it for now. So um, hopefully that'll just give you a bit of an idea how everything goes on the MT4. I know there's a lot of people that don't use MT4 and it's a bit, um, a bit intimidating when you first get on there. And um, don't forget, we'll, um, the new book, Trading Forex with Divergence on MT4. It should be a good read and all you guys should be able to pick it up if you're quick enough at a bargain price when it's on the bonus offer. So, all good guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for being a part of the groups, etc. And we'll um, leave it at that. Thank you.